So it's Halloween, which is everybody's favourite time of year. And uh, I thought, why not do a few Halloween style drawings and paintings leading up to it. And they're just going to be like little mini drawings. I'm not trying to do anything too special. Just like quick little fun drawings. And uh, I thought I'd start off with the Bride of Frankenstein. I've never actually seen the film, but I just think she seems like a cool character. And uh, I'm just going to do my own take on it. It's not going to be like exactly the same as the film or anything like that. It's just going to be, I'm going to like just take the idea of it, maybe the line through the her and just to be like a Frankenstein woman, but it, it's not actually the character also the film. So I'm just going to do them A5 size on a piece of paper. It's just a regular print copy of paper and I've just got a, it's just a HB mechanical pencil. Nothing special, just um, some normal tools that you can get. And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to do a head around the middle, looking over to the, the left. So, just gonna do like just a rough circle. And yeah, these aren't really like tutorials or anything, it's just like a rough idea of how I go about doing things. So I got a circle just for the main bit of the head, and then circle, rough circle just for the side of it. As you can see, it's just, it's just really rough. And then I'm just gonna put a line down the center, for the center of the face. And just bring two more lines in for the side of the face and a little line underneath for the chin and just bring this up to the side just gonna do another rough line just across there just for the eyebrow bridge and then split that in the middle there for a nose and then three quarters of the way up i'm just going to put another line in just for the mouth so it's going to be on like a three quarter angle and then just bring the neck down and here and there I'm just thinking about different things, how I can lay things out. Maybe I'll bring Maybe a bit of a shoulders in there as well. Don't know. Throw some, some boobs in there. Everybody likes boobs. Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna think about the hair. It tends to go back in a bit of a bit of a wave. Wavy cone sheep. It's going to be at ear, actually just make that, that ear a bit low. So as you can see I'm just really just roughing things out. Sort of just seeing where it takes me, I've not really got a, a plan into my head as to how it's going to go. Do some long straggly bits there as well. Coming off. And it tends to be like that, like that white streak that goes through the middle. So I'll just bring that in. But yeah, being honest, when I'm doing this style of drawing, it normally is really this rough. I'm not like, only when I'm like drawing more like realistic stuff, I'll, I'll pay more attention to where certain lines are and where things line up. So, I'm just thinking about what type of nose I want to give her. I think I want to make it, yeah, I want to make it a little bit pointed. A little bit of a, a ball on the end. Spring, smash one. It's gonna be one eyebrow. In that, uh, well, I've got a reference. I've got um, just a picture up of my computer. It's just one from, I think it's from the movie. It's like a black and white picture. So I'm just sort of using that as a little bit of a, a guide as to how things are. But like I said, I'm not really looking for any realistic um, look of it. I'm just sort of doing my own little thing with it, just having fun. 
much playing about. Yeah, so I've just done, I just drew big circles for the eyes and then just putting on some eyelids now. So I have some um, eyelashes coming off. Yeah, I was considering whether to give her pupils or not, or whether just to put some colour in there, but I think we'll, we'll give her some. So, mouth, she's got quite big lips. Well, yeah, like I said, it's not really like a, a tutorial or anything on how to draw Frankenstein women. This is just, just giving you like a little insight onto how we're about doing it. Just wondering, nah, maybe those lips a little bit smaller. Debating on whether to like bring a mouth up, like it's got scars in it, but I don't want to do too much. Mm, go something like that. But as you can see, like I said, I'm just making it up as I go along. There's no real plan or anything as to how I'm going about doing things. Just messing about and having fun with it. So I'm going to bring some hair in on the front. And then I'm going to bring, just to give the idea that there's some hair, like it's got some three-dimensional to it. I'm just going to bring some of the hair from behind as well, of where the front of the forehead is. Mm. Just thinking about how I'm going to do this hair, because it seems a bit, well, I don't know the best way to describe it, but I'd say like afro it. Yeah, that's it. I'll just um, bring some little wavy bits in just to round the back of the neck there. No, I'm just thinking if I should put a maybe put a bolt in the side of her neck. I know I know on the film it, it's not in there, but it's like one of those classic key features of Frankenstein in it. Just gotta have bolts in the side of her neck. Yeah, I think here I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw on just like some random little like I don't know what it is dress shapes maybe. <laughs> Half the time I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going with whatever random ideas I come up with. 
Yeah, I'll go with something like that. And yeah, I think we'll go with we'll go with the um, stitches on the neck, like it's been cut in half. Maybe I'll put the ones in the mouth, but I uh, don't know if that's a bit overboard. If it's too much, or maybe it should just just stick to the neck a bit. So that pretty much is my rough sketch, really, to be honest. I don't normally tend to refine it much more than that. So I think I'll just make this a bit more. It's quite wavy on the phone, this. Would like to get that in, so I think. Yeah, I'll go with something like that. I'll probably put like don't know, maybe a few lines in here, but it's gonna be it's gonna be quite dark that her. So yeah, the minute really doesn't really look like much, it just looks like a bunch of scribbles, but I'll turn it into something in a minute when I, I go over it. So next thing to do now is just transfer it over to some watercolour paper. And to do that I'm just gonna use a light box. I've already got a, a few pieces of watercolour paper that I've already cut to size. So I think I'm probably going to just have to turn these lights off. Just be able to see a bit better. Might turn someone off as well. So I'm probably going to change the placement because it's a bit too much up and over there maybe. So I might just bring it a little bit more to centre. And to do the outline I've got a Sharpie pen and then I've just got two other permanent fine liner pens. One's a Faber-Castell F and the other's a, a Unipen fine liner 0.05. But to be honest, they're just random things that I pulled out of my draw. It was just the first things that came out. I didn't think about what lines I wanted to use. I just thought I'd just get some bold lines and some thinner lines. So I'm just going to use a little piece of masking tape on top just to help hold it into place. Because if not, sometimes it floats around and then you have to line everything back up. But if you just stick a, a piece of masking tape on, it'll help hold it into place. So I'm a bit unsure because it's, it's quite a small face as to whether I should use a Sharpie pen to do the outline or if I should just stick to the fine liners but uh, I'm just going to go for it, I'm just going to use a, a Sharpie pen and then I think I'll just do like the main outlines in bold and then I'll use a, a fine line in them to do say like the nose and some little bits on the eyes. So here we go.
Maybe I should have done that here a bit higher up. This is a bit it's a bit low though. Yeah, stick it in there. Well, as you can see, I'm just making bit, little bits up as I go along, just where I think, oh yeah, probably be cool if I put a little bit of this in there, or a little bit of that in there. Yeah, do this bolt in bold. Now I'm just thinking, is there any other lines I want to do bold or I don't want to maybe try and keep, let me just whisk that around the, I think all the other lines I'm going to do something a bit thinner, this is the Faber-Castell F, I'm not sure what thickness this is. Seems to be okay. Mm -hmm. I'm always making stuff up as I go along, so I was wondering when like, should I draw a little eyelid under there or I should I should I leave it, but I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. Can always can always add that in later on. It looks like we're doing the, the line on the side of the mouth because I sort of just did it without thinking. I might just do a little thinner hairline coming up. It just whisk some hair off her. And I know I call with some random things like whisk. I don't know how I don't know exactly know how I whisk her, but Put those bags underneath her eyes. Quite like the idea of doing that. And then I'm drawing some pupils. But yeah, you can see why I do my rough sketch underneath just really loose because I tend to change it as I'm going along anyway. And then I think the stitches and that I'm going to use, I've got a 0 0.05 by Uni Pen. 
So I'm just going to use this to do those bits. But saying that, I think that looks a bit too thin. I'll stick with the this F pen. But I've got it's a bit too. Really, I should have had a look through and chose out some pens and that, but I just make it up as I go along. I'm gonna do them all like wonky in different different places. Different places, I mean different angles. Don't want it all super neat. Let's put some little random dots in there. It'll just all pad a bit of texture later. Rather than it being really smooth. Just gonna put a little circle on the eyes there. That's just gonna be the highlight. And I think it's gonna pull these off a little bit more. Maybe just throw in yeah, another two the eyelashes. I know they're not very realistic, but it's not meant to be. Okay. Just thinking, is it anything else I want to put in? Did have those other little lines coming in here, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll just throw them in. Yeah, so if you do want any like, if you want me to do any more tutorial videos specifically like over something, say you did want to do ladies faces, maybe I'll do a video on ladies faces, but at the minute this is just, just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking as I'm putting stuff together. I think I'm going to do this hair really black, so I'm just throwing these lines in because I'll probably paint all that black and then I'll just fade it just just on the edge uh, where those bits are showing. Oops. I tend to like loads of black hair. I don't like drawing all the little lines in and then doing all different fades on them. Just wondering if I should a few lines through this or if I should just leave that all white thinking about it I think for now I'll just leave it there and then I can always add some more bits later on if I want to so next thing is I'm just going to choose some colours and then I'll, I'll start painting it Right, so here now you can see that was the, the rough sketch I did and then this is the line drawing on the watercolour paper. This is cold press watercolour paper that I'm using. Uh, it's just the stuff I normally use and it's just what I had in my drawer. And so I just pulled out a few different random colours that I thought I might use. I thought about doing a face blue, like a pale blue colour, but then I thought now I'll go with green because i got this, um, this char to, don't know, sorry, I think I pronounced that wrong then. Char, actually I don't know how you pronounce it. It's C-H-A-R-T-R-E-U-S-E. -E. I call it Chartus, but it's that's probably not what it's called. It's 34C and it's the Dr. PH Martins Radiant Watercolour Inks. And then I also chose a, a few more random colours. I got tobacco brown, um, lemon yellow, Moss Rose, Sunset Orange. I've got the black, but I'm gonna use that to make maybe like a gray tone, because I might bring a bit of gray through this white. And then for the black, for my permanent black Indian ink, I'm using Windsor & Newton. So I'm just gonna start off like I normally do and just do all the black work first, mainly. And uh, I've not used these inks in a while, so I don't know. Maybe some of this Windsor and Newton might have dried up inside, but we'll see how it goes. And I've just got a, a palette as here just to put my different colours in. Yeah, 
yeah let me know in the comments if you prefer this type of video where it's all the way through or if you'd rather have a video where it's a bit more sped up and to the point and uh, to be honest as well if i did a proper video i'd probably do a better drawing because i sort of just rush at and the face is a bit it's looking a bit weird but it'll, it'll turn out okay but i'm not going to keep saying it because i do keep saying it but i just make it up as i go along so i've got two brushes i've got a, a bigger brush from a water brush and then i've got a smaller brush that i'm going to use with a black indian ink so let's get started and you'll probably find that i go quiet on you that's just because i'm just thinking what well, uh, i think i'm gonna take this masking tape off as well so i can just move it around because i had the masking tape on originally just to hold it so that it stayed in place with the camera Yeah, I think the, the last time I did a painting was like February maybe. And now we're in the end of October. So, first painting back. A little warm up just to get into things. But yeah, I'll be doing some more painting videos, bigger ones. A lot more going on, but these are just like some fun little quick ones that I can just get out before Halloween's over. Because yeah, I had all these intentions of these cool ideas that I could do, but left them a bit late now, so just go with this. And because this is quite small as well, I tend to be putting the, the black down first and then just using the water on my brush to um, fade it out. Yeah, because I was a bit unsure whether I should make this video more into a, a time lapse as opposed to the actual real time of it because I know that it can maybe get a bit boring in the middle and you might lose concentration. So it might be better off just doing a, a time lapse video but I'll just try off with these few videos first and then see how it goes. And then if they get too boring and long, we'll just put it in fast forward and put some music over top. Like I've seen other people as well where they do like Q&A's but I don't know if you can do a Q&A long enough to last the full thing. Lips I want pretty much top lip just to be black. Just going to bring a little bit of grey just on top there. Quite liking the way she's looking though. Just thinking, next approach. Could do this section in here. Now for this bit here I am wetting it first. I think I've adding quite a bit of black in the top here, just because quite like on the on my paintings to do heavy eyeshadow, and I think it sort of works as well with it being. Well, I think she's meant to be dead, isn't she? Actually, I don't know if she is dead. To be honest, I've never even seen the film. I just thought 
Bride of Frankenstein sounds cool because we get to do a woman's head. We get to do bolts and green skin, but probably completely wrong. Now I think about it, that she's a normal woman. Either way, it's Halloween. Everybody's favourite holiday. And to be honest, uh, I probably put more black down than what I wanted to, but I, ju I just run with it. I just make it work. If it goes wrong, just carry on. Don't let it completely just ruin everything. Just just keep going with it. And I think here I'm just going to get a piece of kitchen roll and just dab it because that's not working out. I want it. There we go. We managed to save it. But yeah, I'm just playing around with it. Just moving the ink around where I want it to go. Not really worrying too much. Just put a bit of this in it. Gonna give it a little black tip on the nose. I don't know about this line I brought down here, I don't know what that was all about. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Actually, I think I'll just bring... Oh, oh. I don't know what's happening there, but let's keep going. Put some underneath the chin, bit of shadow. Put a bit more black down just the back here. And I think I'm just going to put a, a bit more black in, just where a cheekbone is here. So I'm just going to wet it first, but I think I'll use just a watered down bit of black rather than just black straight out of the bottle. And yeah, I flip the paper around, just make it easy for yourself. Quit making it too hard. If you can't get the angle you want to get, just rotate the paper around.
So I'm just going to fill in the black for the, the eyes. Sometimes I just use a, a pen, but I feel like painting these into the... Bit too much paint on there, but just pick a bit more up on my brush and just move over to this other side. There we go. And I was thinking about maybe putting some black underneath the chin there and maybe on top of the forehead, but don't want to get too carried away and just wreck it, so I could leave that for now. I think make a start on the hair next. Yeah, see as you as you can see, just doing all the hair just black. I'm just gonna just fade that front a little bit out. It's not the, the smoothest blend, <laughs> but be okay. Just now, I'm just gonna paint all this in just straight black. Don't think you can go wrong with solid black hair on women. It just works. And then I think when you start trying to draw in all the, the different weaves and the showing the different way the hair is built up, it just gets a bit too confusing. And with this style of work, I think you want to you want to try and leave it quite simple and not obvious when you look at it. Probably should pull out a bigger brush, get it done a bit quicker. It's only a, a small little brush here, so it doesn't hold much ink. So there's one side of it done. Let's make a start on this other bit. I'm gonna throw some black down first as to where it's gonna be solid black. Then I'm just gonna use a bit of water just to bring this out just into a slightly grey tone Fill all this in black. I 
If you are painting something you don't know what colour do it, just fill it in black, because you can never have too much. Right then, well I think that's it for what I'm going to use for the Indian ink black and I'm going to move on to the colours next. Might just, I might just neaten some of these little edges up here. I'm just going to bring a little bit down just underneath the eye, just through the eyes there. Just pull that through there, just a bit of shadow off the uh, top eyelid. Yeah, so... Hmm. Keep changing my mind. Maybe I'll just throw just a, a little bit in here. Not too much though. Just a, a little bit. Right then. That's it then for the Indian ink. I'm just gonna let this hair dry and then I'm gonna move on to doing the colour next. The black's not fully dry yet, but uh, I think it's dry enough to start painting the other little bits of it. So, the black's not fully dry yet, but I think it's dry enough to start painting on. So for the face, like I said before, I'm gonna use this color green that I don't know how to pronounce but it's the 34C in the Dr. Martin's Radiant Watercolour Inks. <laughs> I always tend to give these a little shake as well when I'm not using them for a while because sometimes you'll find there's, you can see, I don't know, you can't quite see it probably, but there's like little bits that will build up on the bottom. So now I'm just giving them a shake and then just, just squeeze the top in and out a little bit. And I'm just gonna put my paints into a little palette at the side. I think I'm just going to grab a, a slightly bigger brush as well. It's a bit of a, a make do. It's one that snapped and I've wrapped masking tape around it. Gets the job done. So with this, I'm just going to, I'm going to wet it slightly first. I'm gonna start around the eyes. Sorry about that, I was recording and then the, the camera just switched itself off. So yeah, I'm using this color green as a, a skin tone. And I'm just gonna start around the eyes first. Gonna, I did start putting some down and then the camera cut off. I'm not sure if it got it or not. So I think I'm gonna add some purple eye makeup though later on. But I really like this colour green because you get some nice yellows coming out of it. And you fade it out, blend it out, or I don't even know what the right term is to be honest. I always say something different each time.
So here I'm just building a few different layers, like I've gone over it once and I'm just going over it again here now just to get it a bit more green. Now I've just got it really wet and then this is just because I've just dragged it out of the ink, it's just giving it a really light tone over the top. Just trying to get rid of just that just get rid of that white. So we've got a somewhat almost like a base tone underneath. Throw some green into this cheek here now. I think this video is ending up a bit longer than I expected it to be. I just thought, yeah, I'll do a quick video, it'll be about 20 minutes. And I don't know, I bet it's almost an hour long now. So don't know, maybe I will make these videos a little bit shorter. Because I doubt anybody's going to sit there for a full hour and watch the full thing. So I don't think I would. I think get a bit bored. Maybe I'll do I'll like cut through bits. Like, I'll fast forward through some of it and then I'll stop for a little bit while I explain something and then carry on. Or I'll maybe do the voiceover over the top. Or if enough people want to see the full real-time painting, they can do. So to them. So I'm pretty much just keep working on it as it's wet. I'll just go over a full area and then decide if I want it a bit greener on it. Want it a bit greener, I'll just lay down a bit more paint. Ink, should I say? Keep calling it paint, inks in it. It's all the same. Throw a bit underneath here. You know, like I said before, just keep turning your paper around so you can get to the angle, make it easy on yourself. There's no point struggling to reach to a certain place. paying too much attention to be honest where the main light source is coming from like I'm thinking about oh yeah if I put a bit of shadow in here and a, and a bit of light in there but I love it. it's just random really kind of just works I think I'm gonna do the top of the head there just because it's what I like doing so I'm gonna do it just wet it all first then put some green down. Yeah, and I was thinking about putting some um, music over the top of this, but don't know where I'm going to get a, a soundtrack that's an hour long and something that doesn't get too repetitive if I leave it on. Because, I mean, I can find something that's just three or four minutes long, but I keep repeating it. Might become a bit annoying. Got a green face. Actually, I'm starting to think this looks more like a witch you now. Witches have green faces, don't they? Like that one, out of Wizard of Oz. Hmm. 
Maybe I should have done a blue. I don't know. It can be whatever colour it wants to be, can't it? It'll work. I'm just going to do the same again here. I'm just going to put loads of water down. I'm just going to just spread it all out. Just to help build just like a really light tone. It's almost yellow. To be honest, rather than green. So yeah, put all that down now. Just going to put some green. The plan was going to be to make one of these videos every night and upload it so that each day leading up to Halloween I had a new video to watch but I'm making this on the Sunday night and I'm meant to be uploading it on the Monday morning and the video is going to be quite long so cutting through it making sure everything's alright might take a while so I don't know if I'll be able to keep up the this style of video each night this week because you think yeah I'll do that and then it comes a lot more time consuming than what you think as anybody who's tried making videos before will realise yeah you can see that I was trying to be neat and then I've now just kind of just gone all over the place I think where this dress is, if it is a dress, I don't know. I'm just gonna and I've got carried away there and I've gone over the edge a little bit. It's my own fault. Started rushing for some reason. Should have just took my time. Spring with a green edge down this side. Hmm. Frankenstein woman's looking pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, Tom. So now I'm starting to get, get to the stage where I think I've put enough green down and I don't really want to put much more down. But I just think I'll just maybe go overboard and put any extra down. Go just make this, just darken this ear up. And I think I'm going to put some lines through that hair. I think that'll help finish stuff off. And I'm gonna add some, I'm not sure I know, I'm not gonna add some, I was gonna add some green to the bottom eyelids, but I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use pink instead. So I think, pretty much done with that green now. These little bits here maybe could have been a bit neater. But, yeah, we're okay. Just gonna clean my brush off now. And I'm going to use next some moss rolls. And I like this moss rolls colour because it's really bright and it's like a, it's like a cool. Well, I thought it was red at first, but it's like a pink. Just going to throw some into my palette. So. And I'm going to use this on the lips and the eyelids, I think. Just 
for all this down. Yeah, it works. It works. Uh, bumps. Mm, pink lips. I need to stop doing that. Nice. Right. Uh, I think I was just I was gonna get purple to go underneath the um, eyes here, but I think I'm just gonna use this. Kind of like a, a purple color anyway. Throw some down this other side. Neaten that up there a little bit. I'm just going to put just a little bit of red on the end of the nose. That could be a bad idea. But I'm just going to do it and see how it works out. Yep, it's looking like a bad idea. But, I'm going to experiment. Oh, it's, it's not that bad. Well, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. Almost there now. We're almost complete. I think on this bolt, I'm just going to use a bit of. Well, what I originally got out to put on some of the. to use as a skin tone is this tobacco brown. <laughs> it's a really cool brown colour. I'm going to use that on the bolt. So I just need a little bit of that. this down on you. I don't know. Maybe I should have done it blue. It's done now though. I'm gonna get um, a red colour to use on some, so I dab around some of those scar bits. Well not scar sorry the stitches going to use scarlet red so I'm just going to wet it first and then I'm just going to do a bit of red in yeah, I'm just having fun with these paintings to be honest, I'm not worrying too much about stuff being right. I'm not really that bothered. Just wanna just make some cool little paintings and hopefully somebody can learn something from them when they're watching back. That's if anybody manages to sit here for this long and see, see all these different bits. And there, uh, all I'm doing is I'm just dabbing the water in, I'm sorry, I'm dabbing the ink into the water and just letting it just spray out how it does. She's not turning too much of a zombie now, is she? I didn't mean to put so much blood in. Got a bit carried away. A little bit, just slip there. I'll just turn that back in. Yeah, so I'm gonna, next thing I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do is like, maybe like a little blue, 
like a light blue colour. Got like a nice teal colour that will work well for that. But it's a, it's a Ecoline ink. Just be one second while I find it. This is it. It's Ecoline 602 Donka Growian. Oh, sorry, deep green. I was trying to read a different language then. It's deep green, Ecoline ink. And this is a, it's pretty cool. Like bluey, green, turquoise. Not very good at describing colors, color. And I'm just putting a bit onto my palette and then I'm gonna wet it all first because I don't want, I only want this to be like a really light shade. So I'm just gonna wet this dress thing that I still don't know what the name is for. Or is it a collar maybe? Don't know if that's right, collar. I just wet it up. I keep moving my head around a bit weird because I normally use the light as a a guide as to where it's wet because it, it leaves like a little shine if you if you catch it on the right angle but the way I've got this set up because I've got it underneath the camera can't quite see proper but I'm not making excuses I'm still gonna do it just gonna pull that into one corner and I'm just gonna and that is a lot darker than what it was meant to be. I think I should have um, watered it down slightly before using it. Just bring this. Just gonna have to do the same on the other side. Oops, done the same again. Too much ink. Carried away. Only too much fun. Now I'm just, God, I've just Oh, all that ink there, I just kept my brush wet and I just pulled it out just because it's just to separate it from the background. I'm just going to pull some more of this blue around to help separate it from the background, basically, yeah, because if they're both white, it's just sort of going to get lost in there, isn't it? Well, yeah, that originally was meant to be, I was expecting that to come out a bit different, but works I guess so and I've just got some last little bits that I want to do now I'm gonna put some lines through this hair and then I'm just gonna use some grey after that. So I'm just using that F pen and it's basically it. Don't know if that's what I'm after or not because now this isn't gonna go through the gap. I'll just, just, I'll just put wavy lines through. There we go. And then, to use, make the grey, I'm going to use the, the black with the Dr. Martens though. Just because it goes like a, it's got like a weird bluey tone in it, I think. Other people have said it's not got it in, but I think it has. <laughs> Oh, maybe I like to pretend it has. And 
I want this really light, I only want a tiny bit. So I'm diluting it with water. And that's the black there, I've got some water here and I'm just gonna mix that in there. So as you can see, it's just really light. And then I'm gonna wet all of it first, this bit. And cause that's permanent, that, well, Indian ink should say, sorry. You don't have to worry about that mixing. So I just wet all that. And then using a little bit of this gray, I've mixed. Just brought it into that side. It's, it's only really subtle, it's just. It's really subtle. Bit of gray coming through. Brush the wrong way around. Yeah. Yeah, just so it's just got a really sort of grey either side. And last few little bits I'm gonna use. I'm just tempted to put some orange into the eyes, yeah. I think I will do. I'm gonna use some sunset orange. And just put that into the eyes. And to be honest, I'm not gonna clue how this is gonna look. But we'll try it. I just think it might look quite cool on the on the green skin. So a bit of oh, yeah. looks alright that. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much it for the um the painting. I think lastly I might just use a, a white gel pen, but I don't know where I've put it, to put some little white highlights in. Okay, I found it. This is got a bit of a. I think it seems like the white pen that I was going to use is no longer working. See that? I think it's coming back to life. I think. I think. If not, it might work well enough just to be able to do this. I'm just going to put a few little little white highlights in, if that's what you want to call them, just in around these stitches. So. Um, it's going out a lot thicker than what I thought I was going to do and it's not really getting, getting the effect of I was going for, but we've started now so may as well finish it. Let me put some, no, don't like it. I should really think about what I'm doing before I start doing it. I'm just gonna get rid of that little bit on the lip because I don't like that. Guess what I need to do now is a little signature. Maybe I'll do it here. And that is the Bride of Frankenstein leading up to Halloween. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and maybe you learned something from it, maybe you didn't. And I know it might have been a bit long winded, but I was just trying something out new just to see if you enjoy it or not. So I'll see you next time.